So in the past, it was traditionally believed that the success rate from a frozen embryo transfer cycle, an FAT cycle, was lower than that of a fresh IVF cycle. However, with recent advances with technology and the way that we freeze embryos, a process called vitrification, which is a rapid way that we freeze embryos, the success rates with an FET cycle are about the same or even better than a fresh IVF cycle. Interestingly, there are some studies also that show that with a frozen embryo transfer cycle, with an FET cycle, there seem to be slightly less obstetric related risks. So there are some studies that suggest that with a fresh IVF cycle, singletons born through IVF may be a little bit smaller or deliver a little bit earlier. And some believe that may be more a genetic component, uh, but with an FET cycle, there's, there doesn't seem to be these risks. And the theory behind that is that in a fresh IVF cycle, the woman is taking stimulation medications to stimulate the ovaries and the follicles to, follicles to grow and secrete estradiol or estrogen. And the thought is that the high estrogen environment in a fresh IVF cycle may influence the implantation of the embryo and subsequent development of the placenta. And the thought is maybe that, the, maybe that this is what predisposes to the slight increase in obstetric related risk. And this is only a very small risk as is. The other thing is, is the majority of IVF cycles these days, especially women over 35, involve biopsy the embryo and screening the embryos for chromosome abnormalities, which is known as CCS, Comprehensive Chromosome Screening, or also referred to as PGS, Pre-Implantation Genetic Screening. When you have an embryo that screens normal, chromosomally normal, and we're screening for things such as Down syndrome, Turner's, and various other chromosome abnormalities, the chance of implantation is much, much higher. So what does this allow us to do? So it allows us to put back fewer embryos. So instead of putting back you know, two embryos, women older than 35, we put back one embryo, because our ideal goal is a singleton healthy pregnancy. Um, it also allows us to put, uh, put, you know, not put back embryos that are destined to fail or embryos that's destined to miscarry. In these cycles that are doing the embryo biopsy, we recommend freezing the embryos and putting back in a subsequent FET cycle. And the reason for that is, is that the pregnancy rates with these kind of cycles in the frozen cycle are better than putting it back in a fresh cycle on day six when the situations allow.